Here's a classroom cassette recorder from 1994 from the Hamilton Corporation. We have our cassette compartment. This is automatic level control, tape counter and counter reset. I see in the little manual that there was another version of this that had a recording meter on it you could use about where that ALC symbol is. There's our internal microphone our cassette control buttons, including a pause, tone control slider, this, is, this has no effect, obviously it's broken somewhere electrically, and a volume control which works pretty well. And we have a three inch speaker there. Around the left side we have jacks for a microphone with a remote and an earphone jack. Looking sort of at the back top, you can see spots for four quarter inch headphone jacks. And around the right side you can see four more headphone jacks and the jack marked headphone is for the instructor and when you put one in there the speaker turns off. So you can put a dummy in that jack to turn off the speakers. And looking in the bottom, we have a battery compartment for four C cells and our technical data there, made in China, of course. It came in this plain white and blue um, cardboard box, not a lot of information on it. Very, very institutional. And here's the instruction manual that was with it. You can pause your screen if you're interested and check things out. It's very, very standard information. Look at those specifications again. It doesn't say anything about bias, unfortunately. All right, looking inside, we have a three inch, four ohm speaker. We have some of our headphone jacks there. We have a selection of four more over here. We have our motor that appears to be a Matsushita or Panasonic with a 1994 date code on it. We have a board here and our counter. Our volume and tone board there. And our connect cassette mechanism. Let's see. Play. Stop. Rewind. Stop. Fast forward. Stop. You can look at that counter belt and see the belts in here are probably very weak. No surprising as old as they are. There's our erase head, our record playback head, and our capstan pinch roller. Let's put a tape in and see what it looks like. Play. Pause. Release pause. Stop. Fast forward, stop, rewind, stop, 
it won't auto stop on rewind or fast forward only from play so it's pretty basic as you might expect for an off-brand classroom cassette recorder all right we'll use our standard walking tape to test a pre-recorded tape try a little voice recording here. I'm going to start with the uh, microphone I have plugged in and eventually I'll pull that out and we'll switch to the internal mic and we'll play them back and see what differences there are. Okay this is a voice test of the Hamilton LC90 cassette recorder from 1994 automatic level control a tone control slider that doesn't do anything volume works well I got this at the same garage sale that I got the Zenith radio I demonstrated last week so it was a pretty good little garage sale there now this is obviously inexpensive and looking at the inside which I'll show you here or I might have already showed by now depending on how I edit it this looks to have been made by Matsushita which some people pronounce Matsushita and it's pretty industrial nothing fancy about it at all so I'm gonna pull the microphone out now now we will be listening to playback from a recording on the condenser mic. Hear how that sounds. I tried to see what I could do about the tone control, but I really couldn't. I, whatever it's the problem, it's electrical and it's eluding me. I cleaned the switch as best I could, but I didn't get any better results. So let's stop this, play it back. And here what we got. Okay, this is a voice test of Hamilton. LC90 set recorder from 1994. Automatic level control. Uh, tone control slider that doesn't do anything. Volume works well. I got this at the same garage sale that I got the Zenith radio I demonstrated last week. Good little garage sale there. Now, this is obviously inexpensive. And looking at the inside, which I'll show you here, or I might have already showed by now, depending on how I edit it, this looks to have been made by Matsushita, which some people pronounce Matsushita. And it's pretty industrial, nothing fancy about it at all. So I'm going to pull the microphone out now. Now we will be listening to playback from a recording on the condenser mic. Hear how that sounds. I tried to see what I could do about the tone control, but I really couldn't. I, whatever it's the problem, it's electrical and it's eluding me. I cleaned the switch as best I could, but... So let's 
stop this. Play it back. Fast forward's a little gumpy there. Here's how that sounds. I tried to see what I could do about the tone control, but I really couldn't. I, whatever it's the problem, it's electrical and it's eluding me. I cleaned the switch as best I could, but... Well, all right. So much for that. I wonder how it records and plays back music. My suspicion is not very well. All right, let's turn the recording on. Press play on the MP3 player. And we'll see what we get here. This is my typical uh, copyright-free music. I need to remember to demonstrate the earphone jack. Why don't I put that in right now? That will defeat the speakers. Okay, that should be enough for a test of music. Let's stop it. Rewind it. Stop. And we'll start playback with that little speaker defeater in there, the little quarter-inch plug. Pull it out. Yeah, that sounds real good, doesn't it? Some of that might be old belts with not a lot of torque left in it. But just some of it. I think most of it is, this is its response to recording music. Not meant for that. Meant for voice in a classroom. And I think I called the design industrial a few minutes ago. I think a better word would be institutional. Okay, well, that's been the Hamilton LC90 cassette recorder from 1994. I have another piece of Hamilton electronics equipment. I have to say a classroom record player, probably from the 1990s, too. I've, I don't know if I've ever made a video about it, but I know it's appeared in a couple of my videos, maybe. I'll have to check on that. So they obviously were a schoolroom supplier of electronics. Hope you enjoyed it or got something out of it. Thanks for watching. Bye.